Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are Cinechicks. I'm Christina. And I'm Jen. And today we are discussing the Welcome to Blumhouse movie Nocturne, which was written and directed by Zoo Corky. And it's starring Sydney Sweeney from Euphoria. Madison Isman, who is actually from the Jumanji reboot. Oh, yeah. And Jacques Coleman from The Society. What do you think of it? Um, <laughs> the, <laughs> I... Is, is it like a here for you? Yeah, I, it's not that it's bad. It's not that I didn't like it. I just don't know if I did like it because part of me is still a little confused about it. Like... It gave me a lot of like, like I black was telling swan. you, like Black Swan vibes. It gave me the Black Coat's Daughters vibe. It was more of a, they're trying to be like those movies and just didn't get there. Yeah, like an attempt at mm -hmm. that movie, mm -hmm. but it didn't quite make that movie. Yeah. Like a poor man's Black Swan, if you would. Yeah, but I do, I thought all the main actors did very well. Yeah, in and the it movie. looked really good. I liked the cinematography of it. Yeah. But it was kind of slow. Like some movies, when there's like not a lot of dialogue at the beginning and they're setting stuff up, it can be still like really intriguing and it can still keep your attention. And this one didn't. And I feel like part of it is because even though the cinematography was great the coloring was yeah. drab i think i might have been a conscious choice because if you notice when supernatural things happen by the way this movie i would say is the most supernatural but for the most part we dwarf. it could be supernatural yeah or is she having a mental breakdown yeah you can't and tell the parts that were in in the vein of black swan where a lot of supernatural things happen yeah but we have no idea if they were actually supernatural or she was just having a breakdown under the pressure of what was going on around her. Yeah. So it's same kind of deal with this movie. You don't know for sure, but when supernatural things do happen, it's always super bright. Right. So that's, I'm like, maybe yeah. that's why they made everything else purposely drab so that when that those things happen, that's it's so good. significantly different. Yeah, that that's could a good, be why. yeah. Going off of the coloring, she's constantly taking medication throughout the movie. And so I wonder if that has a play into why it was like drab colors because she is medicated. I don't know if that was a choice or not. That is a good thing to point out. I definitely don't think this movie is for everyone. It's definitely no. not everyone's cup of tea. I enjoyed it, I think, more than the normal person solely because I really, I actually enjoy classical music and I enjoy like musical shows and movies, but this still doesn't mean that it was great. I just, I think I enjoyed it a little bit more than a typical person. A couple things, like again, it had like holes. It didn't really establish, I think, the relationship between the sisters very well for it to go the way that it went. I don't think that it really made sense to me. I think they could have explored that a bit more and expanded on that. For me, this is like probably a pass for most people. Yeah, it's definitely, yeah. I would recommend it, but she is co completely correct. But yeah. this movie specifically is unsettling sometimes. And The most unsettling part about this whole movie is the last uh, shot, the last yeah. scene. That's about it. The beginning was a bit unsettling. Yeah, um, the opening scene was a bit unsettling. And there was well. a jump scare. That got me a little bit um because i didn't expect it to have a jump scare in it at all to be honest i don't know if i had any jump scares also there's this vocalization that's in the beginning and when there are ten and really intense things happening yes that like weird unsettling like vocalized i didn't like, like I... it just hit my ear wrong and i know they did that on purpose they did yes. it on purpose yes <laughs> Which is funny that you say that you didn't like it because it was unsettling, but at the same time, I really loved the music in this. The person that did the music, Gazelle Twin, she is a British composer. And the director is also British, so I wonder if they know each other. But I really liked the music in Not this. Not saying that, again, like, yeah. I didn't like it. No, but it was but unsettling. Like, yeah, it, it was definitely, definitely the scary. Like, yeah, it definitely made you feel like, ugh, uneasy. Like, yeah. But yeah, I feel like the movie, in theory, could have been great if it had yeah. more time. Not, e I don't even think they needed to expand the budget necessarily. No, no, I they think didn't. the way it was done, the the low budget look of it, mm -hmm. not in a bad way. It looks low budget as in like they didn't do anything extra to try to make it look like right. They didn't try to make it look expensive. They didn't spend their budget on like 
doing a lot of supernatural things, which I feel like they could have. They could have done more creepy things because creepy things, yeah. throughout, you know, as her journey throughout this movie, I feel like it could have been creepier. Instead, it just There's, was a bit slow exactly. and boring. Yeah. And then she would say things happened and explain things. But it was never exciting. It was never, like, 100% engaging. They do give you little nuggets towards the things that she talks about. Because I noticed also that there are certain things that are done that seem very ritualistic. Yeah. Then she makes a point to point it out. And then you're like, like, are we summoning something? Or, like, I don't know. Or is this in her head? Yeah, there were a lot more questions than answers in this movie. But, yeah, I would have liked a little more. It just made me actually want to watch The Black Swan. So if you did decide to watch it, let us know what you thought. Uh, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, share this video with all of your friends so that we get more subscribers and get more views. Make sure you press that little bell so you get notified when we drop new videos. Until next time, guys. Bye. Yes, Rocket. <laughs>